so often while you're digital scrapbooking, you might come in across the instance where you have two, three, or even four different elements for your layout that you'd like to use together, but the colors don't complement each other. I'm going to walk you through um, adding three different elements to this layout that I've started, and all three of them have colors that do not go with what I'm working on. I'm going to show you how you can change those colors in Adobe Photoshop Elements 8. The first thing I'm going to be adding is this blue label right here. This is from the Color Me Silly collection, and the colors in it just really don't go with this other layout that I've started using the Scarlet Sweater collection. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag the, the layer or the label over to my layout that I'm working on. That's so that I can adjust all the colors within the same document. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here. In fact, I want it to be sort of like this green color down here. So I'm going to just put it nearby and then I'll zoom in so I can see it better. Okay, so this green color is what we're shooting for. Now, I'm going to show you how I would normally change these colors. When you do this on your own, you can just uh, kind of play around with what you're doing and, um, and just find out the way that's best for you. I'm just going to show you the way I do it. The first thing I do when I'm changing elements is I think about the element I'm working on. Now, this one is mostly just blue with a tiny bit of purple and then white. And I, when I adjust the colors, I know that when I'm adjusting them, it's going to want to adjust the entire label all at once. But I really do want to preserve this white oval area in the center. In order to do that, I'm going to select the elliptical marquee tool over here. And if you're in your program, if it has a rectangle, just click and hold, and it'll give you the option of switching to the elliptical marquee tool. Then I'm going to come over and start making my oval shape and I'm using the space bar to move that oval shape around. See I can go like this and I can move it all the way around while I'm holding on the space bar and then when I let go of the space bar it goes back to adjusting it to whatever way I want. Okay. So now I've selected just this white area in the center of the label. And now I'm going to copy, edit copy, and then edit paste. And what this did was it just created another layer in the layers palette with just the white oval on top. I'll select my move tool and I'll move this around so you can kind of see. I'm going to hit undo so it goes back to where it was. Okay, so now I'm going to adjust just the label that's underneath. So I'll select the layer that's underneath the white oval that we've just created. And I'll come down here to the bottom of the layers palette. There's this button that creates a new fill or adjustment layer. I'm going to click that and come up to hue and saturation. Okay, so when you first start adjusting the hue and saturation, you start going like this, you'll notice it changes everything on the page, but we don't want it to do that. So we're going to come down here to this button, and what that does is it affects, um, it turns this feature on so it only affects the, the immediate layer beneath the hue and saturation adjustment layer. So I'll hit that, and now it will only change this label. Alright, so we want to get it to like a green color, so I'm going to come over here to the green side. It's a little more yellowish green. That's looking pretty good right there. You can adjust the lightness to make it super light. You could also adjust the saturation, which makes it really dull or even gray or super, super bright. So I'm going to take it up just a little brighter. I'm also going to have it be a little more green. I'm going to zoom out and see if that label is just about the color that I want. Okay, that looks about right. So the label is where we want it, but we need to make sure that as we move the label around that that white oval over top moves with the bottom layers. So 
So I'm going to come over to the layer palette and I'm selecting the white oval, the adjustment color layer, and also the whole label at the bottom. Then I'll click on this little chain icon down here that locks them all together or links them together so that when I have my move tool, I can move them all together in one piece. Okay, the second element I'm going to add to my layout is this flower with a button. So I'll go ahead and click and drag over to our document. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to make the button on the flower red and I'll make the flower itself gray. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to isolate what I want to change to just red. I'll use the elliptical marquee tool once again. I'm going to zoom in on this button really closely. All right, and now I'm going to click and drag and try to select just the button. Okay, I want to take out this area in the center, so I'll hold down the Alt key and start to draw or drag, click and drag the circle. Okay, so now that just the button is selected, I'm going to zoom out, copy, paste, and I'll paste it right over top. And this time I'll come to Enhance, Adjust Color, Replace Color. Okay, so what this does is what we're, we're going to select the colors we want to replace, and then we're going to adjust them down here at the bottom. So the color I want to adjust is this blue, so I'll go ahead and with this eyedropper selected, I'll click on the blue. I'll notice in this black area down here, it shows where the button is in relation to the rest of the layout. So you can kind of see what you've selected. You can go like this and you can see how the color has changed. However, this area right here is still the original blue. So I'll come to this middle eyedropper and now I can add that color and it changes the entire button color. It's kind of a cool technique. I really like it this way. So now that I want it red, I'm going to take the saturation up, try to find the perfect red color. Okay, that red's looking pretty good. So I'll hit OK. So this is just the button layer. So now I'm going to go to the flower layer and I'll come and do the same thing. Enhance, adjust color, replace color. This time we want this pink and the other kind of um, orangey color down near the bottom. So go ahead and hit that one right there. And I need to change it to this really awful color just so I can make sure I'm selecting everything I need to. So I'll come and get the middle add to dropper and I'll select these other areas to make sure we'll be changing everything. Okay, so now I can come to the saturation area and just bring it down and it'll make it a really light gray. You could even go darker if you wanted or really, really light, almost to white. Okay, so here's our light gray. I'll hit OK, and you'll notice that there's this kind of cream color down there. I'm going to zoom in, and we're going to do one more replace color. And this time, I'll select this color. OK, perfect. I'll take it all the way down so it goes to gray, and all the way up so it's more white. Want it about right there. I'll hit OK. So there's our gray flower. Using our move tool, we can select both the flower and the button, lock them together, and then move them around our layouts. The third and final element that I want to add to my layout is this ribbon. So using the move tool, I'll click and drag over to our layout. I'll get it in the spot I want it. And then just like before, I'll do Enhance, Adjust Color, 
replace color. Let's zoom in on our ribbon. And I'll select that area, mostly just the blues. This time I'm gonna think I'm gonna make it a black and white ribbon. So I'm going to take the saturation all the way down so it's it's grayed out. You can see there's still some blue areas kind of hanging out. So I'll go ahead and hit the middle eyedropper tool and select that last little bit. And then I'll take the lightness down quite a ways to get a nice black color and hit OK. And there we go, that one was super easy. Going to black from another color is probably the easiest adjustment you can make. And it's super simple using Adobe Photoshop Elements 8. Hope that helped you guys out and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.